How do you transform a community? When I moved to the city of Atlanta, I had a plan to do that. I thought I had it all figured out and exactly what I needed to do to reach people for Jesus uh, and actually see this city be better. What I didn't realize in that move is that you can't make a plan for people that you don't know. You actually have to move into a community to hear its hurts, to understand its fears, to know its narrative before you begin trying to fix things. You have to actually understand what the need is and the questions that are being asked before you try and give answers. I learned that lesson the hard way and I failed three times in trying not only to start a church, but to see Atlanta be transformed in any significant way before I finally got it through my head. That in order to see a community be different, first I have to believe that God actually delights in this material world. And then once I believe that God actually delights in this material world, actually ask more questions about what a community needs rather than try and bring my answers to bear. I've kind of captured all of those things in a book that I just wrote entitled Renovate. Uh, and if you think that that can be helpful to you, if you have an actual love for the community that you live in and want an understanding of how you can be a part of God's desire to renew and restore not only that community, uh, but the broader world in which we exist, then I'm gonna ask you to give that book a chance. And hey, if you hate it, take it back and get your money back. But if you don't, then I think it could actually be helpful in helping you to see your community the way that God sees it so that it can be transformed the way that God would have it be transformed.